Well, Simon, obviously it's been a busy week, but how pleased are you now after all the speculation that you finally got your man? It's great to have um, you know clarity um, so quickly, really, on on you know the, who the new manager is, and and for everyone to sort of settle down and and, and focus back on um, us doing what we need to do this season. Um, it's um, they're always difficult weeks for for clubs. Um, I've been through it before, and um, you know what I have to say before we get into anything else is a, a real big um, thanks to to the guys that are at the club. People like Dave Conlon, Shwan Jalal, uh, Michael Rains, and, and, and James Jennings who have stepped up and, and been so um, so good around the team, given a, a, an element of calmness, and allowed us to, to, to move through it and allow myself and, and Rob Elston and, and other people in, in the background to, to do our work in, in finding and appointing the new manager. Obviously, this is Stockport County. When the vacancy becomes available, I know you'll have had a massive amount of interest. But Dave Chaliner was pretty quickly the top target for you, wasn't he? Yeah, I think what we did, the first, so, so you know, the, the first thing to say is, you know, with all, with all managers, you, you're 100% behind them until the point when you're not. And, and uh, at that point, um, you know, it, you, you have to sort of, you know, take a decision um, on, on what's the right thing to do for, for, for the club. Uh, the board took that decision. And um, at that point, we very quickly started to draw up what what the brief would be for for, for Simon's successor. Um, you know, the things that we put on that brief were um, uh, a level of, of experience. We wanted over 100 games worth of, of, of management experience, and in that time, we wanted um, some success. Whether that have been, you know, a title win, uh, you know, a promotion, serial playoff wins, or serial overachievement against your budget. So we, you know, we met and, and, and spoke to a, a number of, of very, very talented managers. Um, but uh, as all our fans would would recognise, Dave Challenger ticks it, all those boxes, um, and um, and uh, as well as his having his history with the club, as well as well as knowing a number of the, the players in our team at the moment. Um, all the factors, all the boxes were ticked really, and it became a, a, a quite an easy choice to, that, that, that Dave was, was, was our number one target. Thinking back a few years, I mean, I've, I've been involved in the process as a, as a director and, and as a board of directors. We've never had a, a director of football to, to, to get that knowledge from really, to help us with that kind of recruitment phase. Tell us a little bit about your role during this last few days and, and this, this last period? What, what does it involve for you? Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's, and I think that's the benefit. These times do show the benefit of the role. It's, it's getting in the gaps and making sure there's continuity um, between, um, bet between kind of regimes and making sure that the whole thing carries on. We didn't know how long the process would have taken to identify a new manager and we had to make sure we have stability for the team and for the players um, going into obviously what was an important game on Saturday to go and collect points as well as what would be you know, a really exciting game that we've got coming up on Sunday. Um, but yeah, uh, my, my role was to, to make sure that we had a, a team in place that, 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 that could allow continuity. Um, and then working with the board to, to draw up what the brief was um, to ensure that we took on all the points of view um, that were around the decision um, and then start to work on, on um, you know, filtering the candidates. As you said, we had a lot of interest um, and, um, and making sure that uh, we narrowed in on, on, on who was going to be the right person and making sure that we did the right process as we go through it so that, you know, um, we, 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 as, as much as we have changed manager, um, uh, a couple of times in, 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 our, in our tenure so, so far, it's not something we want to be doing and uh, making sure that we're you know, being really thorough in our recruitment process so that we've got you know, the, the right person for, for, the, for the long term uh, of the club. People involved in football, maybe at a distance from Stockport County, arm's length in this football club, might look at it and say, well, Dave Challenge has dropped down from the Football League, back down to the National League. Has he still got that hunger to get back in there? And, and is that something you've seen from Dave? No, not at all. I think Dave, Dave's uh, excited about, um, about the club that we are. Um, he obviously knows you know, the feeling of the club. He knows, he knows the, the, the feeling of the fan base of the club. He knows what this club means to, it, to, to its supporters. Um, and uh, you know, in his mind's eye, he'll he'll remember uh, the club that he that he joined in in the championship and, and 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 the long history that this club has got, you know, and it, within football. So, I don't think he looks at it from his experience as a as a as a national league club. And you know, uh, with, with, I think that the infrastructure and the people that we've got now, I don't think it's it's recognised as a as a as a national league club in that way. We're competing in the national league at that moment, and I don't mean that in, in any way arrogant to say that. 
you know, we are where we are and we're fighting to, 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 to get better and that's where we are. But in terms of um, the way we're set up, um, the people that we've got with the experiences that they've got, um, it's not uh, a drop down, I don't think, from, from, uh, for, for Dave. Uh, in, in some cases, because of those factors, it's a step up. And um, you know, I think he's excited about the opportunity to... I think what, what he sees, and this is for him to say, but I think in the conversations that we've had, um, he sees this club as having all the tools to get him where he wants to be in, in, in his career. He wants to, he's really ambitious, just like we are. And he sees uh, this is a great partnership and a great fit to get him where he needs to get and for us to get where we need to get. So, you know, hopefully that's what happens. You talked a bit earlier about uh, sort of the way that you look at candidates and how you assess who's appropriate for this. Is style of football one of those tick boxes, yeah. if you like? And when you look at Dave, is, is that now going to affect you in terms of recruitment and the way that we set no, up I think backroom staff, anything like that? Yeah, no, no, no. Listen, I think from, from the f f style of play, I think for, is, is really my role is in terms of making sure that, you know, I, I develop a, you know, Mark Stott and Rob Elston and Johnny Vaughan have all got, you know, the, the ambition of taking the club to where they want to go. It's my role to, to identify the way that we do that and, 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 the, and the football methodology, if you like, for us to get there. We've always said from, from day one, we want it to be a front foot team, want to be a team that's creating a lot of opportunities a team that scores a lot of goals. Now, um, in fairness to Simon, Simon inherited a team that um, that was was leaking goals and, and, and did a great job in terms of uh, getting the defence stronger. There was a little bit of an impact to that in terms of our um, attacking play, although last year we, 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 we were able to score a lot of goals. Um, uh, so I think our, our, our feeling for the, for the football that, that, that we want to play here at County is, is fast attacking you know, football. Um, and, uh, you know, that's what we want our supporters to, to, to see. You mentioned uh, Dave Conlon and Schwan and, and you and I went, we were on the train going down to Dover chatting about the game and how important that game was. And um, they did a great job with the help of JJ and Rainsy to keep the, to keep the, 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 the train on the tracks, really. Um, how important is it going forward now to have that? Continuity with with some of these guys in, in in the back room. Yeah, I think that's the total thing. We, we you know they they're what we'll call club club men. You know they're the people that that you know um, ma managers might come and go, but we need to have continuity with 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 the way that we operate and the people that we've got here. The people that really get the club, people that understand it, people that have got strong good relationships with, with our players, and and just know the way things work. Um, We've we've been looking to assemble that 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 team. We feel really com comfortable and confident that we've got that in place now, and uh, um, you know that gives us certainly someone like myself a lot of security that we can deal with a situation like a long trip to Dover and 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 also an uncertain period of how long this was going to be. Knowing that those guys can handle it, they're cool, they they understand it, you know, and 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 they can manage that situation. And you know, it, it also I think they will see it as what, what a great opportunity for themselves. You know, that's Dave Conlon's third spell as interim man management. I believe he's, he's unbeaten. Um, but uh, Schwan, as a, as a relatively new um, uh, member of the coaching staff, another new experience for him. Michael Rain steps up again and is such a great personality in, in those uh, types of environments, really adds value, but I'm sure he's getting something out of it as well. And for someone like JJ, you know, JJ, we were just ticking off the different things he's done since he finished playing, but another experience for him to be sort of the other the side of the white line and, and something that I know he, he really enjoys so you know yes they are providing a service for the club but they're great experiences for, for those guys as well in, in part of their own ongoing development. I mean you know looking back a little bit all we're all county fans we all wanted it to work with Simon Rusk and obviously it hasn't done and we, we all wish him well for the future of course but um, just thinking now particularly about your role and your relationship with, with, with Dave Challoner going forward how does it affect the targets for the season now or has and has this change perhaps come soon enough for us to stay on track that with you know the targets that remain the same the 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 the, the decision that we made with simon um was was purely with the targets for this season made in mind um you know i think it's a simon's a terrific coach simon will ha has had a great um career coming into his time at county and will go on to have a great great career after his time at county um we had a blip this this season, lots of circumstances that have gone into that. Unfortunately, the headline is Simon Rusk loses his job. But the the reason why that happens is because of a, a load of things have happened at the same time. It's people and circumstances and things that have gone wrong. It's unfortunate. 
what we can't do as a club is dwell on that. We have to take decisions. We took a decision. Uh, we close the door on that chapter and we start, start the next chapter. And yeah, absolutely, it's game on for this season. Um, look, uh, I don't think Dave Chandler comes to the club unless there is a, an opportunity to, to, to go and be successful. And um, I think with, what is it, 31 games to play um, of the season, after 10 games, we were on 17 points. Normally, they say to win a championship, you need two, two points per game. So we would have been at 20 at 10, three points behind the target. I think we're probably about six points or seven points behind where we'd want to be right now. So it's, there's, a, there's, there's a lot of time um, with fit players coming back into the squad. Um, and, and with a really aligned club, I think we can really go and be a powerful force for the rest of this season. Um, but like I've said always, there's no gimmies. It doesn't matter what training ground we've got. It doesn't matter what manager we've got. It doesn't matter some of the players that we've got. It's about us coming together, doing the work and, and, and getting on with it. And, uh, you know, if all those things happen, you know, we've got a really exciting uh, run into the rest of the season. Speaking of exciting as well, could you ask for anything better than this weekend? Bolton wanders away in the FA Cup with... 5,000 travelling fans from the Blue and White Army. Oh, it's what enormous. A start for him. It's enormous. It, it, fantastic, exactly. What a start for him, what a start for them. What, what, a, what an event for us all to be, uh, to be part of a local derby um, and, 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 and a big prize you know, for the winner. Um, I think, look, for, 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 us, uh, for us all, these are the games you want to be involved in. We want to be involved in matches that matter, whether it's a cup competition, whether it's end of season playoffs, whether it's fighting for titles. This is what we want to do. We want to build an exciting football club that everyone can be part of. And, you know, just to see the response of the, the fan base going, going, going to Bolton is just incredible. And it just gets us all revved up and, and, and ready to go again. So, no, I can't wait for the game. Um, and I'm sure I'll see you there. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and, and hopefully we get a good result. It's going to be fantastic. Simon, thanks for your time. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, John.